first met Brent Harvey when he was a cheeky teenager who looked nothing like an elite footballer. Now he's about to become the AFL Games record holder. Morning, mate. Okay, how are you? Yeah, all right. Good to see you. Come in, mate. Come in. Yeah, you got the kettle on. Hello, kids. Morning, Coop. There must be something in the air out here. Only an hour and a half out of the CBD. Yarrambat. Good to see you. you. You've been out in the ground more than most players that I've played with, Coop. You've been out there for a 200, 250, 300, 400. How many times have you been out there? Four, six times. Six times. Almost ready for AFL life membership. <laughs> OK, Captain. <laughs> Hadn't been Captain for a while. Yeah. Muscles. Give me a kiss. I'm going to go to work. Have a good day. Yeah. <laughs> Hudson, inside, please. See you, buddy. See you, Lace. Bye-bye. Have a good day. It's been a long and intriguing journey for the little man. 21 years at the top and counting. But to understand the champion, we need to go back to the beginning. Enfield Avenue, Preston, boom, this is where it all started for you. Yeah, absolutely. That block there is where I grew up. Had some good cricket matches and footy matches here, Kingy. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I've been playing footy out here. Nah, footy, mate, this was good. So our driveway was the goals. Yeah. And this driveway just over here, that were the, uh, the footy goals. Whether we had a uh, mate of mine used to live here, Damien, whether we had him and his older brother here, next door neighbours, all playing a six on six game, or it was literally me and my brother Shane playing a one on one game, they were always the goals. Grab the footy, grab the bin, get off yeah, the road, cars, move, cars coming. Game off. <laughs> it, is a, it is a tougher upbringing. All right, game on. Let's go again. Yeah, let's go. <laughs> you loved it. Yeah, I, I made Preston is where I grew up. Um, my nan used to live around the corner, so I'd come home from school and walk around the block and go see my nan, sit down, have a uh, can of Coke and a Vegemite sandwich with her, and then come back home. Mum and Dad was always at work or at footy training. Mum would be home cooking. Cooking. So, mate, this is literally what we did. We come, we got home from school, we played footy, we played cricket. Mum would call us in for dinner. We'd have dinner, we'd come back out. Daylight savings was heaven. Um, when it wasn't daylight savings, that little light was a saviour for us. <laughs> Next stop, the Preston RSL Club, where Boomer won five flags. Ruthven Reserve, his childhood playground, or as Boomer calls it... Uh, Harvey Park. Harvey Park. As me and my brother refer to. <laughs> <laughs> Boomer always respected his original coach, the late Mr Colf, then son Jamie after that. I remember him coming to me three-quarter time and said, look, I'm, I'm, I'm spent. Um, I said, you want to kick 20 and And you said, oh, that'd be all right, so... <laughs> oh, I think I was 19 or something behind in the goal kick and yeah, I wanted to be... Oh, Roberto right. from West Preston, yeah, I remember it. Yeah, so I, I put him in a forward pocket. I'm not kicking, I'm not kicking you. I reckon, had, I reckon you had three blokes on him. And he still kicked eight. And I can't remember it, but I kicked seven up this end, four up that end, two up that end, and then eight in the last. Eight yeah, in the last. Yes, so. I remember, I remember he he can't remember it, but he kicked. <laughs> <laughs> It's an amazing place. I spent a lot of hours up here, whether it was with team training or just coming up and having a kick at, at goals by myself or with my brother. I love being here. I love the fact that you're up here and make him say thank you because yeah. everyone that plays a part, starting from your dad yeah. to you to the next coach, yeah. he's all played a massive role, mate. So, so thanks yeah, no, for coming no up worries, here mate. and sharing it. Let's give him a little laugh. Ah, good man, mate. Ah. <laughs> Keith Burns was Boomer's TAC under-18 coach at the Northern Knights. He noticed a first-class work rate and a trait that would one day become his trademark. That little shimmy he used to do and dodge and weave, it was one of his greatest skills. But in the grand final in 95 was probably my uh, greatest thrill for him. It's because before the game I said to him, how would you like to be first rover? because we sort of protected him for a lot of the time because he was so light. And he took him apart, won the best on the ground, and uh, it was a great day. Thanks, Bernsey, for all your time early on in the career. You taught me so much. Helped me with that transition to, to get to a tough coach like Dennis Pagan. So I uh, just want to say thanks very much for all your time, Hi, mate. Buddy. Thanks very much. And, uh, 
Congratulations no on your achievement. Thanks very much. Give me a little break. Come on, Darren. Turn. Love the cuddle, Darren. We couldn't complete this story without one of its most central figures. He's an old coach of mine. I'd like you to say good day there, Dennis. How are you? How are you going? Good to see you, Dave. How are you, hey, Dennis? How are you? Well done, son. Good still, stuff. Still Thank my favourite coach. What about his first game? Do you remember giving him that opportunity and what yeah, that represented? We, we gave him a great opportunity. I think it was 96, might have been late in 96. Yeah, round 22. Round 22, got him on there for about 30 seconds. <laughs> didn't touch it. OK, I gave you a big chance. <laughs> <laughs> after, after you, yeah, one position, I think. After you give Boone, that'll do you next year. Yeah, no, <laughs> spot on. Right. Absolutely spot on. What was the best bit of advice Dennis gave you? I think when I first walked into the football club, he taught us how to be ruthless with everything we're doing, um, how hard you had to work. Um, that was probably the main thing that I, I took, that how hard and, and committed that you had to be to, to be a really good player and to be a successful team. So the hard work, and not only that, the values and the morals that he, he taught me at such a young age has certainly helped me through, well, not, not most of my career, all of my career. Where's he sit, Dennis, on the, on the games grades of the Kangaroos, if not the AFL? Well, yeah, we've only got to look at his record. It's, uh, no one's got a better record. And there were some great players who, who have played for the club. And, you, you know, you think of Keary, and you think of Blight, and Cracker, and Cable, and Schimmelbush, and, and Greg, and you could probably go on. But Boomer's right up there with them. Boomer's record is uh, second to none, and he's, uh, he's been a wonderful player for the Kangaroos. And, it's amazing, just keeps on keeping on. I don't know how long you keep going. Every time I look at you, I watch you on the weekend, boom, I've got you down for another three years. <laughs> <laughs> just want to say thank you, Dennis. Um, you're very hard early, very ruthless, and I've said this publicly, that you broke a lot of players, but you certainly made a lot of players, and um, I'd like to think that I'm one of those players that you made. So I uh, just want to say thank you very, very much, because if it wasn't for you, I don't reckon I'd be here today. So. Thanks very much, Dennis. No, 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 no. There will be no at all the coaches today. Tell us who the players I broke, but we're going to ring them up. <laughs> <laughs> ring them up and say sorry. <laughs> I've never seen this before. Even Dennis gave him a hug. Ah, Dennis. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> so, Boom, it's, it's, it's a different sort of childhood. It's, it's a tough... Life out Preston Way back in the day, wasn't it? Oh yeah, I, I guess I guess I come from a family that didn't have and now writing the book and interviewing mum type of thing, the money that dad used to make was was bugger on. I don't know how she raised three kids and my on Christmas Day I believe we upbringing in that, but we I didn't come from a family with uh, with a lot of money or anything like that. So when you earn some some decent money doing what you do, you sort of puts a lot of things into perspective and. Um, be able to provide for my kids quite well is it's, um, it's pretty rewarding. I'm set up well where I can send my kids to get a really good education at some really good schooling. Um, we'll still be on our side of town. It's got to be in the northern suburbs, mate. I'm a homebody, so to speak, and I think the upbringing, the family and the friends and the, the culture of the Preston area, the northern suburbs, I hold really tight. Unfortunately, mate, I've got a couple of guys or a couple of friends that have passed away due to some, some overdoses and things like that. I've got a couple of really good mates now in, in jail. Um, so absolutely, you get to a fork in, in the road during life and lucky for me, I had sport. Had an amazing family, so I thank, you know, thank them for everything they've done. But you get to that fork and, and footy was probably the guidance for me. I was half decent at it and I loved training. I didn't just play it because I loved it. I actually enjoyed the training part of it as well. So that keeps you on the straight and narrow. But um, yeah, certainly, certainly makes you think now what my mates went through when they were 15 and 16 and, and so thankful that I took this road. We met Jamie a little bit earlier on and he was very similar to Dennis, who was very similar to Keith Burns and um, Mr. Cole, he was probably the, the first hard taskmaster. That I, master that I had, um, but the disciplines that they teach you early on hold you in really good stead to, to be a, a good team player, to be a good father, to be a good husband, um, set those morals really early in my life and, and like I said earlier, mum and dad, I had, had an amazing upbringing with a, a great brother and a great sister, so I, I wouldn't change my upbringing for, for one second. I, I love where I'm from. 
At the end of this game, you will hold the record for the most games played VFL, AFL history. We're all proud of you. I, we, I know you don't take it uh, the way we do, but as past players, as mates, we're all proud of you. How's it sit with you? Um, I'm excited. I'm excited because I get to share it with so many people and there's so many people that's helped me along the way as well. So when I do run out and break that record, it's not just for me, it's for my family, it's for all my friends that I played junior footy with and never had a chance to play one AFL game. Um, it's for all the other shit boners who have finished their career and still enjoy and watch, watching, the, watching the Kangas, uh, I guess the supporters and everybody that's played a small part in my life. Um, this is for everyone, this is not just for me.